Hello, all you wonderful beans out there, and welcome back to the stream. I am Razim, currently is Paint the African Wild Dog. And we're doing some Cosmeteer this evening. Where I'm hoping to get a couple of uh, upgrades done and stuff. We'll see how this goes. For now, let's go ahead and transfer this over to the Rin. I'll hold on to the asteroid harvester because, well, no need for that to be transferred until he's actually back. And, yeah. I'm going to go head out and... We are very much running out of stuff for this sector. That we can yeah. do without massive upgrades. Yeah, I see somebody snagged that stupid uh, Havoc Marauder thing. Yes, I did. Nice. Ah. I can't afford to fix it up, but... Oh, no. <laughs> we don't yeah, have I, the stuff I, to I, fix I, it? I, Oof. No. Hypercoils. Uh, I love I fucking love Carry Toshi. <laughs> Carry's great. Well, I shall leave you guys now. You, Why? you are all adorable. Why do you gotta leave us now? Cause I gotta go watch the last episode of the Last Hope. Watch the adorable hunter. I mean, you can do that while still talking with us. Yeah, but like, multiple... Like, it's very distracting for my brain. Ah. Because like, if I'm hearing voices here, and in the video... ...of like, the same people... So, ah. Makes sense. I understand. You don't want to hang out. It's fine. Enjoy. No, I can't make paint sad. No. I just, you know, like hanging out with my friends, but it's okay. I am here. <laughs> yes, you are here. Until I'm not. You're, you're all adorable. And nothing will change that. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye forever. So you said we're running out of resources here, so what I'm hearing is we need to sacrifice some people to the sun. Yes, that would be great. I can see if I can attempt it. Yeah, that would go for great if uh, that could be pulled off. Let's see. I might be able to... Where's a station I can push? A uh, base. Aquas... Uh, Aquas... Aquas base? Can I sacrifice that? Yes. Okay, I will attempt to kill that thing in the sun. The problem is, is that we need specialized equipment to pull it back out. And to mm, gather the resources. Yeah. Do you have the resource gathery bits? I do have resource collectors, yes, on the good boy. Okay. Well, then we can at least get something out of it. We can't pull the mass out, but... If I'm careful, I might be able to salvage some of the whole thing, and then you can pull the resources out of there. I believe in you. 100%. some steel first because <clears throat> I need to build the catchy things
Unwids! Paint cute pack backstory made you feel sad, so you destroyed a village in Minecraft. Ah, I see. In Minecraft. Wait, which backstory? Paint's backstory. Fair. Okay. This thing's got a wide range of view. It's nice. Wide range of view? Oh, the probe droid. Oh. How have you never seen this game before? I mean, it's one of the many thousands upon thousands of, uh, uh, whatever you call those things. Uh, it's one of the many thousands upon thousands of indie games out there. It's pretty easy to miss. Oh, see ya, Liam. Bye, Liam. Bye, Liam. All right, let's go do a drive-by on this stronghold, see what the hell we're dealing with, and how a horrible it's going to be. Huh? Drive-by. Uh, Ooh. That one down there has lots of big turbo lasers. I don't know about the rest of them. That it does. I see a couple of potential weak spots, but... But you would have to be able to get around it and have it not shooting at you. Yeah. And those turbo lasers take out a shield in like one shot, so... We need some range. Definitely not a shotgun. Let me go check a couple things. All right, everyone. I think I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, I know, right, Toshi? V doesn't get to see the concert because he's going to be blacked out the whole fucking time. Wait, uh, who? Uh, main character. Uh. From Cyberpunk, the person you play as. Anyways... I'm going to go ahead and send you guys over to Zim. I'm going to go grab a bite to eat. And I'm probably going to knock out this quest line and then the uh, uh, actual like main game ending tomorrow. Ooh. Yeah. 
Well, thank you for the raid. Yep, no problem. I Wake hope up. you have a good Holy time. Line. Would you I'm like wrong. a I'm random wrong. clip, Rada? I don't really have to. Taldarius so raided my stream with six viewers. Fair enough. Well, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. I am Rozim. We do all sorts of things here. You guys probably know me anyways. So I'll save you all the spiel, unless Taldarius wants the spiel. But yeah, I don't want the spiel. I've had to give the spiel. This I, is I true. don't need the spiel. Well, I was meaning for your viewers, but... Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, whatever. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. I'm just trying to do some calculations here. Figure out what some of the ranges are on this stuff. These things that can be switched do not tell me what their range are, and I do not like yeah. that. I agree. It looks like standard turbo lasers are about 300 meters each. That seems to be about standard for most of the blaster type weapons. But I don't is have that... the ion beam. Is what? What? Uh, is that how much Kerr needs help for the bills? Duke. He needs a lot a more than that. Okay. That is just what I have set it to for, you know. But he needs a lot more than that, and that's just all I've set it to for help I've been having this issue okay since earlier this morning uh, and it's up time to click next you could do a standard old school railgun ship and get it up to 600 meters well I was thinking ion beam because don't those have a pretty decent uh, range do they? I haven't really looked at them Unfortunately, I do not have the credits to see. So, let's go kill some things and hopefully get some more credits. Oh, ion beam. No. No, the uh, standard ion beams do not have that much range. They might be 300, but they're not much more than that. Sorry, I thought really? you meant the Star Wars ion beam thing. No, no. Yeah, no, the, they used to be better, yeah, apparently, so I've read, but they're not that much anymore. The heavy lasers probably have more range, but I can't check because we don't have them. I believe that does make you hidden, so that it does not. Okay. The other thing is, I believe your point defenses can shoot down the turbo laser shots. Okay. I'm pretty sure that the uh, ion beams had a far more range than 300. They're not that much more. I use hmm. them a lot, and I, they're not that long a range. Because as long as we open it, it counts as a... Like, I could outrange cannons or large cannons with it, but that's about it. Their range is 450. Oh. oh, that's spooky. What? The range. It's not that spooky. The important thing is, is that it is far larger than the cannons on that station.
But we now have a ship to build. Or I now know what kind of ship to build, rather. So we, might have we the can. Death Star. Probably not quite like that. I was I'm thinking uh, right one of the. the uh, Death Star. I, I, I was. I mean, I could do that. <laughs> Sorry, what were you thinking? I was just going to go with the uh, Snarl Fighter that I made ah. before. The one that just has the ion beams on the front and stuff. Mm Wait, is it? I made a mistake with this hook thing, but whatever. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna see if it's raining. It's a terrible day for rain. It's so hard to get good resources off of these Star Wars ships. <laughs> it is. First off, it's not raining, and why, Zim? Why? <laughs> hey, How Rusty! Most of the ships here are actually other people's ships. Uh, this one's mine. Uh, I've got this one I need to repair and crew up, and then we've got our station for just holding stuff. All good? Duke. Okay. I still haven't gotten over that. I'm still not over that part of the anime. Zoom. Whoops. Okay. Good to know. Do not use auto fire thrusters. What did you do? Spun my ship around. Hmm? Can't laugh, can't laugh, because I'd obviously do that by accident. Well, I, I hit the auto-fire thrusters thing on one of my engines, and, uh... Apparently that equals go 100% thrust all the time. So, suddenly I had way more thrust on one side of the ship than the other, so I just kind of went in a circle. Gotcha. Did donuts. Ah. So, uh, Rex is mad at me. Oh? What happened? He got to the part where Asher was admitting it. Well, before you do that, try walking here. Oh. Sorry. Here. Because sometimes you did. He, he, he does not like the fact that uh, Asher was hiding it. <laughs> oh, no. It is kind of all Magnus' fault. Oh, no. How um, does it have anything well, even remotely close to having to do a single goddamn thing with Magna? <laughs> so, you remember when you were saying, like, there's a reason why he didn't need to bring it up? There's a reason why Asher never needed to bring it up because he had access to the medicine and everything? Oh, that part. Yeah. That's why I'm like, oh no. That's right, it. Time to see if I can push this.
But I mean, everything's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be alright. The medicine will be there. Definitely. Oh, definitely not. <sighs> uh, burrito, normally it would be tonight, but we, uh, Kerr needed a mental health day. Yeah, if you just look at the tip goal, you can understand why. Yeah. And I get a call, the group that I'm financing my car with tomorrow, and literally be like, I don't know what happened. Your website crashed after I set up an account and I set up direct deposit and everything. So I don't know if you're calling to me to let me know that I owe a payment or whatever. But if it is that, please let me just make that payment now so that I don't have to worry about it. And then at the end of the month, just if you could just fix my account problem and just like remove me from auto payment so then I can just be calling you and making those payments, please. Because this is not good. Hey, I can push this. Not very fast, but we're doing it. You know, I think that the Astromex will actually repair things regardless of needing resources. Or, like, right. without resources. Sweet, then just throw some Astromax on that thing that you need to fix. Yeah. I just wish I could know how far it reaches. Well, I guess there's one way to find out. Sorry. Just gradually move them towards a damaged section and see how close they have to get before they start repairing it. Yeah, I'm okay, Lobaron. Why? Oh, heck. Oh, cool. We got a volunteer. We have a volunteer? For diving into the sun, yeah. Somebody came. A small uh... cargo ship. I am worried about him, yeah, but I'm doing all right, Loveron. Thank you. Okay. I know he's not watching, and I can say this, but Kerr is cute. We just love him, even with all the nonsense he gives us. Yes, we do. But he's mine. Yes. Yes, he's yours. I'll have to find my own. I will fight you. I'm not trying to take him. Don't worry. You don't I need to worry about me. You. I'm going to find my own. Don't worry. I will I kill you. You said 
Who Jesus. said that's why Zim's gonna fight you? Maybe I'm... he just wants to fight you. If he just wants to fight me... Oh, hey, another one. If he just wants to fight me, I'm fine with that. I'm literally fine. It's whatever. He'll get arrested for it, for attacking a military personnel, and we won't have streams for quite a while. Oh, you're pulling that card. That's legitimately going to happen when the police show up. Um, I don't think there's a specific law against attacking military personnel. I think the law kind of goes for whoever you are. I don't oh, cool. think there's a specific extra penalty just because you're military. There is an extra penalty, or, or penalty because you're military if you do it, but I don't think there's anything for civilians. Give me a second. I could be wrong, though. I'm not a lawyer, but I don't think that's how that works. I think the extra penalty is you were dumb enough to attack someone trained in kicking your ass. Ooh. Eighteen U.S. Code, whatever the double S stacked is, thirteen eighty nine. Prohibition on attacks on United States servicemen on account of service in the case of a battery or an assault resulting in bodily injury be fined under this title in an amount not less than $2,500 and imprisoned not less than six months nor more than 10 years. That's on account of service. He didn't attack also, you because you're serving. Yeah. Who said I was going to be uh, causing bodily injury? Yeah, true. True. You could just there are more than show up one and... way to attack you, Brian. Like leaning into my microphone real close, <laughs> talking nice and softly, and that's all I need to do to break you. Literally, you're breaking already. Now just wait for me to toss in. What a good boy you are. <laughs> See? <laughs> There's many ways to attack you. Isn't there, good boy? Yes. Good little pet. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not allowed to respond without Master Rygon's permission. Good boy. Lobron, yes, now I realize that it doesn't mean subsection. Oh, yeah. Take that out, and you also aim for the cockpit. And that is all I want to take out on this thing. And Lobron, that's not what I'm going to do. No, if it's like this, nothing happens. But if somebody physically shows up to beat the shit out of me, what happens is that first, I defend myself, aka possibly break a knee or two of the enemy, of the person attacking me, and then wait for the police to show up, and then it's just, I deal with that there. Oh, I know, right, Loboron? I could see him doing that. No! And then you get sued for excessive use of force. Because there was absolutely no need for you to break anything. What happens if he keeps swinging after I shove him to the ground like twice? Restrain him. 
Knock him out. Okay. Break out your kinky bondage gear. I don't care. You don't need to break anything. I don't do bondage. I do have Oh, you rope. will soon enough. What the f No. <laughs> I have rope, but only because it's like in the need of like, oh, we have to go out into the field and do such and such thing and we don't have enough rope. Okay, so get put your awesome shibari skills to use. God, you're having me look something up. <laughs> you're having to look that up? <laughs> yes. Oh, I got lots of friends now. Plunge them all into the sun. Let none oh. survive. I see. <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah. So it's just gonna be me, just like hog tying the guy after a bit, and just be like. You're gonna wait for the police, mister. Yeah, kinda. To be fair, Lobaron, those kinds of lob choices are just stupid. Yes. I have seen that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like somebody breaks into a family's home while they're away, gets trapped, has to eat dog food, and successfully sues them over it? Really? I mean, to be fair, in that scenario, they were prepared for that scenario. But it wouldn't be like, um, let's say they break into a house that's already kind of in disrepair, and the lock just happens to be finicky to where they close the door, it locks, and then it breaks. I'm just saying, as far as I'm concerned, if the guy broke into their house, it doesn't matter what the hell happened to him. He's in the wrong. Yeah, yeah I agree. I 100% agree. The only downside is that I'm not going to be looking into a job like that, because if I did, everyone's screwed. The only reason being is because I'll be able to find any legal loopholes I need to make sure to prove, like, such and such person is actually innocent, such and such person is actually guilty, blah, 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 blah. And you can't judge me for this because it's in the book. Hello there, Skipper Wraith. Okay, Lobron, that's just... Now I'm gonna try to be nice and watch my language. But that's just stupid. What are you supposed to do? Just sit down and take the beating? To be fair, anywhere self-defense stuff is incredibly sketchy. Uh-huh. It is true. Wait, well, let me search up the self-defense laws and the state I'm in right now. But part of the problem is, is that it's really, it can sometimes be very hard to prove who was actually self, who was actually defending themselves and, you know. Who was the attacker and who was the attackee, yeah. Exactly. Cool. Make sure to do it in front of a group of witnesses. Make sure it's recorded by a camera. What else do I need? Oh! So you're the uh, dev of the uh, Star Wars mod, huh? Well, cool, oh, nice. Skipper. This is a very unforgiving mod. <laughs> it, it really is. Um, so this is... For the torture to Zim, this is just me sharing kind of
kindness. Our modest fellowship I'm not saying that it was deserved or anything, but sub. dude, you did this work. You gotta get something out of it. Yeah, we uh, we've been having a lot of fun with the mod, though it is very unforgiving. And holy crap. It, it is basically a fight between who has more proton torpedoes or mass drivers versus... It, it, that's basically the fight. Who has uh, more of those? And shields. And shields. Oh no, I'm dealing with the phone number. Oh no. Oh, here we go. There's what the hell are they shooting at? Oh, a ship. Okay. Oh, the uh, factions mod? Yeah, we also have that. We've got all, well, most of the Star Wars mods. Uh, I think the only one I skipped was the... Uh, oh, my God. The, the music one because, you know, streaming and copyright and all that. I just had a better idea, Zim. What's up? Instead of the sun... This thing just opened fire on a random Imperial ship that flew by. I'm gonna push it to the Imperial base. Ooh. You mean the pirate stronghold? Yeah, because it's an Imperial one. The Sparoscum base or whatever. Oh, all right, wait. What? That base down there that you were checking out? The Geku Supo? Oh, the the pirate stronghold. Yes, the pirate stronghold, Spear of Scum Base. Yeah, push it there. Use it as yeah. a shield. Well, not only that, but that thing had Imperial logo, so I think it's an Impy base, which means this base should open fire on it. Well, it's a pirate base, period. Oh, okay. Well, this was a neutral Imperial ship that just flew by and it opened fire on, so. Did it get destroyed? Yes, it did. I put a marker down. Cool. I'll go scoop it up. I'm very nice, Skipper. Very nice. Yeah, I've, I've been enjoying it. Yeah, it is a very nice mod. Uh, just very unforgiving and hard to get started in. Yeah, we are kind of, uh... Yes, we did discover the probe droid. It's been very useful. One suggestion that I'd have for it, though, is the fact that when you're starting multiplayer, you can't use the starter ships for it. They don't appear in the schematics unless you have started single player and saved them separately. It would be wonderful if you could still see those in multiplayer. Yes, it would. Because, yeah, we, uh, that is one problem we've run into is, you know, somebody's ship gets destroyed and... I go to build them a new ship, and... yeah. Uh-oh. What's the uh-oh? Ah, uh, uh, I see. My plans. Yes. There are so many ships around you I right know! Now. <laughs> right? Truly, this is the dankest dungeon. I do things, you thank you. Things tipped five dollars, Zrax Heart Razim Heart. Thank you so much for that tip. I really appreciate it. We're gonna lose a bunch of crew to from some of these right now. Oh, I think. Which will be unfortunate in the fight, but... I mean, all of those ships we re ships to make up for. It. Yeah. yeah, the main purpose here is letting them get to blow each other up. So exactly. Opinions on the thruster effects. Um. I feel like they should probably be a bit bigger. 
Like, I'm sure for balancing reason, that's why there's so much space that you can't build in after them. But it doesn't make much sense when it's like this teeny tiny little bubble and then all this space that has to be completely empty. Yeah, I I like the ones that's the glow with the sparks because the sparks still take up the extra space. And the toggle? Uh, the toggle to change the effects. If you select your engine, you can change the effects. Oh! Yeah, not that one. Oh, I like that! Yeah. Yeah, I like okay. the effects that have the sparks. I withdraw my complaints. I like that. I also like the fact that you can recolor stuff as you please, pretty much. Yes. Yeah. I can take care of this one other guy. At the time I said it, there Ah, crap. A bunch of them got done trading. Oof. Oh, well. I'm dealing with a random number right now. I have no idea when I'm going to get a text saying, like, who this is. But it's whatever. I'm talking with friends and that's all that matters. Yeah. I appear to be going the wrong direction. Okay, did I grab all this? There we go. Looks like I did. Guys. What? I was about to say something for chat, but then LeBron just sent me a message. I am friendship, therefore... Damn friend. Ooh, yay. But I was about to say for chat, guys, who all agrees that there's at least one very cool person in the VC? Well, obviously there's more than one. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. At, that's what I'm saying at yeah, least more than Rin one. Rin is very cool. Yeah, so Zim. Zim is cool as well. You have 10 days playtime in Cosmo, but haven't played one hour, probably? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. I know I've played many hours in this already. Uh, he's no longer breathing. I'm sorry, I just heard from somebody's mic. Somebody saying he's no longer breathing. Yes, that would be my roommate. That made me panic for a second. I really should have put some steering thrusters or something on this thing. Ooh, if I'm done with cleaning up my room early, I can go over and do some card games in town. Yay. I'm just encouraging myself to get done faster. Okay, I'm gonna sell some stuff. I really don't want to, but... We're going to get plenty of those back soon. I'm going to sell all of it. There's plenty of Durasteel and Dunium around. This way I can actually get these, uh... Get some, you know, parts and such that we need.
Oh no, Skipper is saying that they have a huge update and backlog. Oh, what's the update gonna include? Oh, I am at Max Crew. Right, I I'm at Max Crew because I already I own several ships that are not actually mine. He's Skipper saying, uh um. We know there's a lot of information when the person who runs like a mod or something has to say um when there's somebody asking, ooh, what's happening? I mean, to be fair, it could be that or it could be just there's uh, mostly just bug fixes, so nothing particular of note. Oh, he's saying it has to do with the armors. Ah... I mean, I still want to know if it's just bug fixes, what's been fixed, because there were, there was the, um, super funny bugs that people shared from other games. I would also say one thing I'd love to see is the possibility of increased crew numbers. Because one thing that I have noticed about this mod is that it seems that fleets are basically a necessity. By the way, Rin, you're going the wrong way. I'm aware I am hooked on it, and it is dragging me. Oh. Skipper is also saying we planning to offer 16 possible roof lock combos. All right, we're gonna go for this hollow net bounty. And let's go and uh, buy the blueprints. Cool, give me a second, I'm gonna start blocking numbers. Because I think somebody somehow got access to my number and is starting to spam me with different numbers. I'm gonna have to let it reset before I'm gonna be able to do anything about this. Yeah, probably. Unless this asteroid will knock me off of it. No. What is the hypermatter reactor? What does that do, Skipper? I've been confused on why I would go for those. Oh, it's a work in progress? Okay, so I shouldn't use it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got unhooked. Loberon is asking you a question. Ren. Huh? Oh boy, uh, here we I'm go. I'm alright. I'm still sick, but okay. 
Hug. Hug Rin. Survive. Rin, hug. Arr. Rin cute. Rin hearts. None of these traders have steel. Okay, so no matter what, we don't have enough hyper coils for this. Fudge. What does this take? Oh, it's only four more. Okay. I'm trying to get the. I am trying to get the uh, Snarl Fighter up and running. It's not going well. Also, Skipper, I love the uh, those little uh, thrusters. Though I need to the the steering ones, yes. Though I do need to ask you a question. How the heck? Is a ship able to go backwards in, re you know, able to reverse so dang fast with only thrusters facing behind it? Because that is one thing that is kind of annoying about this mod is you get into a fight and you're fighting against somebody who is backing away from you and they are able to just out, you know, they're able to go Really dang fast backwards. A little ridiculously so. Hey, Chrisovs. Is that something that's going to be worked on, or? Del Fox Paws. This this stream is sponsored by Del Fox Paws. Wait, cockpits have small maneuvering thrusters? Really? I never realized that. But yeah, that would make sense with those tiny all, ships. Yeah, yeah we, that actually now. makes a lot of sense. And we yeah. really. Oh, I guess those aren't actually part of the base game. Actually, that is a very good voice line. <laughs> well, okay. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This fighter has only two thrusters. They are pointing behind it. So it should only have forward momentum, uh, Skipper. And yet it is getting up to 72 meters per second strafing backwards. 
What? <laughs> That's insane. Possibly even more. I don't know. The Dothings wants everyone to hydrate. Yeah, it, it's able to strafe backwards chaos. way Sky too up. fast. Sky the Valley has turned Chrysovos into a EV. They can only talk like that Pokemon for two minutes. Um, uh, Chris Hobbs isn't even in here. Eh, it can still be done to people in chat. Oh, uh, is he in chat? I don't think. Well, he's this he yes, yeah, he is. He just chatted. Oh. This thing could go 98 meters per second forward and 70 or so backwards. It, it, it seems a bit over 40%. Yeah, I think something yeah. might be uh, wrong in the math there. Unless it's 40% plus whatever the maneuvering thrusters on the cockpit can do. Oh shit, it's one of these. Is. Oh no, take it out. Oh, Show one no of the X wings with all the things. Yeah. All right, turning on everything. You attack it from an angle and target the cockpit. I mean, on the bright side, it shouldn't have much in the way of point defense, if any. Well, it basically just disabled my. Uh, Oh yeah, we got it. Disabled your what? Oh, my little X-wing. Oh, it did? How? I... I thought it did at first, but... Oh. The, the X-wing took a big hit. Ah, uh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's a big hit. It's a Z95, though, not an X-Wing. Oh, it is? Okay. Well, yeah. either way. The only prehistoric is... prehistoric X-Wing. Yeah. The only difference is the Z95 uh, just has the two wings like an airplane. It doesn't have the X design on the wings. Ah. Open this place has enough steel for me to build these other little engines. Paints good boy tombstone unveiling tomorrow? Oh, I know, right? Oh, no, please no. Um, Skipper... <laughs> I would definitely say I would love an option on the droids to turn them off. Because it is a little much. The sounds, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Hi, Lucario. Ooh, it's Lucario. Ooh. I don't notice any timer on it, Skipper, but it might be because I've got three of them on this ship. Okay, I have lost a lot of crew. Got it. No wonder things were not working as smoothly as I thought they should. I don't have enough money to buy the rest of the crew. Okay.
Uh, yes, Chris Ops. Uh, the, the music that I'm playing is a combination of S Starbound and uh, FTL. Yes, Chris Ovs is a very good boy boy. I yes, he is. Um, so Skipper, I haven't really noticed any uh, price on the Durasteel versus Dunium because we get so much from deconstructing ships. Because they're all made out of, you know, Durasteel and Dunium. So we haven't needed to buy any. Um, as for the HP and such, at least looking at the stats, it seems to be good. Um, one thing I will say is that I've had some issues trying to build stuff where they don't go in a proper order with the uh, Dunium armor. Uh, or they just decide not to build pieces. That seems odd sometimes. Yeah, there are times where they decide to just not build something. Well, like for example, on this ship, um, originally uh, these wedges were, uh, they were like this. Um, and my crew just refused to build that. So I finally just gave up and did it like this. But that was the original design of the ship, was that it was, uh, this way instead. Um. But yeah, I, I gave up on that eventually. Uh, there was something else I was going to bring up. Uh. You want a nom crew sometimes, yeah. Hey, I'm back finally. Wibbleton sausages. Sorry, I gave you both uh, your ship and Roberts because I needed to buy more crew. <laughs> okay. So send me back uh, Roberts, please. I'll just deconstruct it, no biggie. No, send it back. All right, I set it back. Don't let me have any fun. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to mention? It is driving me crazy. There was something I was going to mention. Oh, right. Uh, as far as the R2 droids, the Astromax. Is there a way to be able to see like put a bubble on to see how far away they can repair because i know they have this passive heal thing to the ship and i have no idea how far out it goes and being able to see that would be really nice and we have a mod dev in chat yes we do yeah. skipper wraith nice. is uh one of the mod devs perfect I'm doing a couple of things real quick. Ah, Sorry. Okay. No worries. I just looked around. I didn't see any enemies, so I got confused. 
I'm assuming you mentioned that issue with level one ships being blown to bits instantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we kind of mentioned how uh, unforgiving it is. <laughs> Yeah, uh, real quick, I'm taking care of a couple of things. Uh, we may have Whiskers coming to join us tonight. Uh, oh, cool. I don't think it's the factions that's the problem, though, necessarily. Oh, I love sausage gravy and biscuits. Fun fact, Loberon, uh, sausage gravy and biscuits is actually Hunter's most favorite meal. Though, all of my characters are very happy to have it. I mean, biscuits and gravy isn't necessarily just a southern meal. Uh, I will kind of side with Loboron on that. It's nowhere... I Like, I've lived all over the U.S., my dad was in the Marine Corps, so I, I've lived in California, Ohio, North Carolina, uh, Utah, Nebraska now. And I will say that outside of the South, it is kind of hard to find sausage gravy and biscuits. I lived in the middle of nowhere, Iowa, growing up, and we had it all over the place, so... Northwest corner. You can't get much further north without being in Canada. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't exist. It's just not as common as it is in the south. Yeah. That, that wasn't my point. My point was that I don't think you can measure how southern you are by... How much you like that because it's not strictly a southern thing now if you're talking about like grits or something maybe but oh i love grits like i have two pounds i'm hearing y'all talk about like favorite meals and stuff while i'm eating dinner i'm just like spaghetti meatball and spaghetti you italian I'm not even Italian. I just love spaghetti and meatballs. But to be fair, um, sausage gravy with biscuits is really good. Oh yeah, Lobarot. <laughs> I will so say true. though, Lobaron, um. McDonald's has a really good sweet tea. I don't like going to McDonald's, but I will go occasionally just for their sweet tea. Okay, so that's the thing for me, though. I don't like their sweet tea, and I believe it's just the brand of tea that they're using that I just don't like. True, 
And it's not as good as a uh, proper southern sweet tea, but, well, I'm sure they don't dump, you know, but three like parts sugar. uh three parts sugar to one part water and tea. <laughs> Around here I typically go to raising canes cuz they've got pretty good sweet tea. But they definitely seem to be a more southern uh, influenced well, restaurant as well. So true. Okay. Dang it, Lucario. now I'm missing my grandma's, uh... When I was living with my grandma, every now and then she would just make me a gallon of sweet tea. Completely random, and it was always so enjoyable. She would just, you know, properly get out a pot, boil the water, put in the tea bags and all the sugar and stuff. And, and would just put it into a gallon jug, stick it in the fridge, and... Oh, I loved it. Cool. Okay, so Lucario. I'm going to go to Bojangles either this weekend or sometime next week. And that sweet tea better be good. Yes, exactly, though, Ron. Exactly. Though I think you're underestimating how much uh, sugar goes into it. I don't know the mummy. And you are right. I remember my grandma making that. What tea would your grandma use? Oh, she just used the standard Lipton. A hundred percent. That's always the good one. Yeah. It's like, you can't make southern sweet tea without the standard Lipton sweet tea. The Lipton tea. It is the box. It is generic as heck, but it is what you have to use. You can't get away with anything else. So true. And you're right, Lobron. You can't give away all the secrets. Oh, right. I need to turn off my proton torpedoes and cannons just in case these aren't required. These don't require those. Did bounties repopulate or something? No. No, oh, I thought we had done all of them. Nope. Not yet. Oh. No, there's a couple that been up north. Okay. Let's go and fire strongholds. Now, now that uh, they picked them up, but I thought other than the pirate strongholds, we'd done all of them. Nope. Almost, but... Let's save that as attack default. Oh, and that is a bomber. Hello there, Y-Wing. You are now priority number one. Congratulations, do not resist. That is a weird looking bomber. What do you mean, it's a Y-Wing? Yeah, it's a weird looking Y-Wing. Doesn't look weird to me. Really? Normally they have the torpedo things forward, not on the side. Oh, I've seen a and few of this. Have two laser cannons. Eh, yeah, fair. Well, if we have a dev in chat, complain to them. <laughs> no, I'm yeah. just saying it's interesting looking. I'm sure it's from somewhere. I'm All sure right, mod is unplayable. Cannon.
cannon is not far enough forward, mod is unplayable. I will say I absolutely love the fighter parts for this mod. Yes. I love the fact that we can have proper fighters on this. Ships aren't your business, Rar. Don't mind the weirdos with me in voice. Yeah, Growl. weirdos. They're never happy. I'm usually happy. What? I'm happy whenever my brother calls me. Of course, not always when I'm at work, but it's whatever. Oh, did you mention the shield wah 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 when you have like 10 shields going? I think that's from the reactors. But well, that's default. And I've got no issues uh -huh. with it personally. Yeah, me neither. You only hear it when you're really zoomed into your ship. Well, that's part of the vanilla game anyways. Oh, and Ship Graveyard needs to have Star Wars Ship Grave stuff. The what? The Ship, ship Graveyards. Graveyard should have the Star Wars parts. Have Star I should have Star Wars parts. I would agree on that, Skipper. Hey, there's Whiskers. I, I would definitely agree. Uh, having uh, Star Wars ship parts in the ship graveyards would be great. I mean, obviously it doesn't need to be a ton of them or anything like that, but still, you should be able to find bits and pieces of stuff. Oh, it looks like it is based on... Like Alright, give me a moment while I set things up for the alt stream. Uh, commissions are open! I mean, they're open anyways, but, you know. Commissions for being done tonight are open. If anybody would be interested. Uh, Loboron, did you do a proper commission? I know you, I believe you're on uh, the Doodle page, but those don't follow the queue. The Doodle pages are extra things for you guys outside of uh, the normal, you know, art commissions. And they are done after as a thank you for the support.
Actually, better idea, I'm gonna go ahead and split up the recordings. It'll just be easier on uh, things. So give me a moment here, everybody. Thank you for joining us so far on the stream today. This is Cosmeteer so far. Check out our website, zgfgaming.com. We've got links for our Discord, Telegram, Mastodon, Blue Sky, Patreon, and more. There on the website, as well as down in the description below through our link tree. Thank you to my patrons, tippers, and subscribers. It is your support that keeps the channel alive and going. I cannot do this without your guys' help and support, so thank you. Consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash zgfgaming. It's one of the best ways to support the channel, though you can also do so by simply sharing the stream around. As well as coming by, hanging out, grabbing some packs of cards to stream loots, and of course, uh, subscribing to our YouTube. But for now, thanks so much for joining, and I bid you the most fondest a duke. <laughs>